probably pretty yeah, i'm probably gonna have to scrap that whole getting then if it was like that the whole time so we are just having some encoding issues so if it does skip to this point welcome this is day two i uh, of lake here i know we're starting right in the middle of it but i think it's because i was having encoding issues and it was really really laggy so i'm gonna go over the footage and if it's really bad then i'm gonna have to start it from right here because the last two minutes have uh or last maybe 10 minutes or so were really really laggy so apologize for that but hold on for just a second i will hand this in here I'm also multitasking as I'm delivering this. I am ordering some breakfast. So. Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. She seemed positive. I think it was actually. She seemed positive. I think this might actually work. Hmm. Well better it will I'm sure it will I'm sorry it's just the business is slow and well I don't really want to talk about it could you just pick up the two new movies and deliver them please hmm Jaws and the Dirty Dozen I'm on it I'm on it don't you worry your pretty little head about it mm -hmm. great thanks appreciate it mm -hmm. Bye. great thanks Bye. Dot, dot, dot. What the heck was that? One second, chat. Still just doing this. How far do we need to go? Uh, bad. Happy, uh, Labor Day, by the way. How are you on this fine Monday? One second chat, still looking at the other stuff. Chilling, same here, man, same here. Having a barbecue later today, so that should be nice. <laughs> this thing just dries into the wall. Every time. I'm doing pretty good. Chilling. My, uh, just got my right arm done yesterday. Uh, I have one more appointment for my finishing my sleeve, my other sleeve. But, uh, yeah, it's progress. Getting there. And this in right oh no do we have to go down Shoot. i think we have to go down there mr there mackie we go. i've got this movie box for you leave it on the porch of the cabin could you I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark huh? movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. Jaws it is. All right. Jaws it is. 
Have a nice day. Hopefully he likes it. Return to the post office. All right. Fast travel right here. The day is pretty much done. Weiss Residence, Saturday evening. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, yeah, they, I, I think they like added them right. I instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh, man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree and I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face you remember that right what if it's like that with old phone numbers you go must dial M and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial man anyway I uh, didn't call about that obviously I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday clear my head and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. Huh. Decide, decide you're too busy. <laughs> yeah, we'll mean it. Why not? We're nice. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter One. A wow, more disastrous a entry to her new home cool. was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstaben estate. She tumbled Robin upside Stalin. down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? September 7th. Uh, working on vacation. What is this? What is this? You're on vacation. Oh, okay. She's just, uh, making a journal. People will just start conversations with you as if they don't want, if they don't have someone to be somewhere else. Like what? But very quite a few packages and letters, home movies, and even a living creature. I wonder what next week will bring. But not before ending this week with two meetings with friends. An old one and a very new one. Should be interesting. That's right, so she's only really there for two weeks, so technically there's what? Hey, M. M. Five days up left. Up here. Hiya. Should Seven I days. just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third ledge. Should be good. Watch your what on the third ledge? Uh, I have to what on the what? I have to what on, on the what now? It's fine. Cross my heart and hope to die. Scout's honor. You were never even in the scout, so they could just go up there real quick. Hope I don't die climbing this tower. <laughs> Oh, okay. Phew. I'm up. In one piece. It's all good. Call off the dogs. Ugh. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? Sure is. Sure is. Oh, that view. Gets me every time. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to remember what's great about P.O. Those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh, yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you puked all over the rail? In fact, wasn't it kind of where you're standing right now? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, it totally was. I don't recall. Oh man, what? I don't remember any of that. <laughs> I bet you don't. I'm glad you're back. I kind of missed having you around. I feel the same way. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. I basically worked my butt off the entire time. That's both positive and negative, I guess. Oof. That doesn't sound like a sustainable life plan there. You okay? Yeah, it just gets a bit busy sometimes. Mm, I can imagine Providence Oaks is less complicated. Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. Is this about something or someone? Way I'm glad off. we can have oh these adult God. conversations now. <laughs> oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm backing off. Okay. What about you? Did you end up going to college? Yeah, uh, about that. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes, but... Turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So I decided to stay and do my own thing. Make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but... I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. That sounds exciting. Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let them down, so I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his shifts at the diner. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Where was Barry in all this? True. Barry was actually really great. We divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. And what now? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own, right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl all over this rail, just like we did. <laughs> 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 so yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, <laughs> I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. That's so great. Uh, that's so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? Seems like it's time. Yeah, seems like it's time. Come on, then. Vice President Sunday evening. Always getting phone calls. Hello? You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Uh... 
Wait, what? Why would I? Oh, hi, oh. Steve. Hi, Steve. Meredith, please. Oh, hi, Tell Mark. Calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster deal. Wow, that is so awesome. Tell me more. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Added 87. 250,000. Multiply that by, like, 35 bucks. That's a lot of money. What? That's millions of dollars of revenue. M -m -m millions and and it's just the start listen i've got the contract right here i'm sending over a copy you should have it tomorrow please please check check double check check it right away i want your blessings before i sign on the dotted line okay gotcha, gotcha steve don't worry about it awesome i'll be in touch again tuesday evening i'm so excited and i just can't hide it Nice. It's official. Tuh. I hate horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was amazing. Thank you for watching with me, Miss W. You weren't scared at all? Nope. Told you. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't <laughs> wait until I move out. Yeah, oh well. I hope you had fun. Yeah, I did. Maybe it's about time I convince my parents that I'm old enough. I'm almost an adult, and I don't want to wait until I've moved out until I can watch another horror movie. Don't worry. We can always do this again sometime. Yeah, I had fun. I hope you did too. For sure. Maybe we can visit Angie's store and find a new movie to watch. Oh, uh, yeah, totally. Good night, Miss W. All right. September oh, 8th. Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey, Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. And in suit. I didn't see you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I'd like to ask you a few questions. What? What is this? Investigation? Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Uh, just um... of it. Yes, well, the gist of it. Can you remember the segment from Chapter 11, Section 3, what? first paragraph? Ah, oh, yes. Riveting stuff. I'm sorry, that part seems to have slipped my mind. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, first paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. What? Oh, okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here, but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. If you look up the definition of integrity, it has my picture next to it. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Okay. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Yes. I think. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? No. No. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? No. No. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. 
Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. Yo, what's going on, Wally Wall? How you doing? I am doing good. How are you? Happy uh, Labor Day. If you uh, top of the morning, PO. Complaints from the US. in Monday mornings. The perfect combo. Oh PO, God. That Take it away, Bert. Morning, Jr. I'm afraid it's a pet peeve for me. All right, we got again. a bunch of uh, people who come camping. Seems like some of them are here outside this season. Just this area. bugger off already. Whoa. <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. We're starting the week sunny, but a few clouds will appear closer to the afternoon. There's one. Playing some Final Fantasy 14 from the US. Okay, nice. Yeah, well, happy Labor Day. <laughs> How's uh, Final Fantasy going? I mean, it is kind of getting around the time where I could go back to Final Fantasy. Possibly. Um, I don't think there's many. Uh, whoops. Let me hop in the car. Maybe later this week or something, I'll come back on to that game. Trying to prepare for N Walker. Nice. I'm uh I think I'm like still halfway through Heaven Sword, but I'm getting there. I could go back to uh Final Fantasy as well. I don't I don't think there's a lot of like games currently out that I wanna the ascent is still there for me that I wanna really play. I would like to play Battlefield before um Battlefield 4's campaign before the next one drops, but that is like a one day thing if I did like a six hour stream. I think we're on 104. Yeah, we're on 104. I wouldn't mind getting back into Final Fantasy though. Got me thinking of it right, now. I'll leave it <laughs> on the doorstep. All right, what else we got here? Next one is uh, there's a movie box, campground. Let's go over to the bait shop. <laughs> I am new. Oh, hello, welcome. Uh, hello and welcome, fearless Kenji. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? I saw uh, Shang Chi or Shang Chi over uh, the weekend, and it was very good. Just a solid, good movie. Lol. 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 Going to pick up the movie. Mackies. Uh oh. Uh oh. I saw the connection drop for a second there. Oh, wait. I think we need to go back, back around this way. And those SWAT teams deliver mail. I know, right? Hi there, Meredith. Yeah, we're gonna be going for. I suppose you've come to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off pace. earlier. <laughs> the movie Soon box? Here. Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. It took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. Huh. Glad you liked it. Not my cup of tea, to be honest. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. Nice. 
Wow. These movies are huge. They <laughs> put them in a, literally a briefcase. But yeah, I know. Uh, this is the prequel to SWAT 4 before uh, her, her entire town is obliterated and now she wants to take revenge on people who are wrong in the world. Completely missed the lake day two part of the title. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Is not interested in the movie. I don't, I think we don't we don't have too much longer of this game. Maybe like an hour or so. Wow, that was so quick. What the hell? They literally dropped Just want to watch them stars fall. Uh I, yeah, I was gonna say I hear the car moving, but it, it wasn't um, It had us in the loading screen still All right, we got these campers here Smoking it up again Here's some more paper Hi sweet Meredith Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Whoa. Yikes. Yikes. I oh, guess bad trips happen. Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. Uh, maybe somebody put it there? I may have... Uh, hold on, Mickey's got to read this. Ugh, Mickey, threat. wake up, honey. Leave me alone, I'm still shit-faced. It's huh. a letter from Damien. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. Nice. What about the RV? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two. You know, and talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. All right. Why not? Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Joan! Awesome. Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. Wow. That's uh, very inviting. <laughs> For only a second time meeting, too. Uh, it's fast travel here. Uh, 400 Lake Road is this one pick up that is this guy still gaming he is bro same hello sir it's the mail excuse me what's this all about oh I thought I'd not bother you and just deliver the parcel I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. But that's what you said last time. Okay, I'll take that into account for next time. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. 
Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. We can't see him. Okay, I'll be on my way then. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, let's go right here. And we'll auto pilot over here. Okay. A little close there. All right. Ooh, and this thing. It's a postcard. It looks like it would. It might have been a postcard. Autopilot over to our house. <laughs> What that? Who's that? It just like spun around. What are you doing? All right, hand this in. What is going on? What is happening? Ah! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh no! What? Where are you going? <laughs> I kind of want to see where this goes now. What just happened? Where are we driving to? Oh no! What the heck? Oh my god. What the hell just happened? I- it was like- it was autopilot. I think it was because I fast traveled while I was autopiloting. And then it just- <laughs> it didn't stop it. It just kept going. That was funny. <laughs> Literally. I I think she got I a little bit. Uh, didn't bring the package. Oh, uh, whoops. True. Yep. I think she got a little whiff of whatever that other, that one couple was having the hallucinating wait what i still didn't pick it up pick up there we go few too many with the girl True. all right let's hey, hand this in here's your movie box back oh thanks so much babe listen i owe you an apology <laughs> Yo, F40, thank you for the, uh, I was hurt. Just the follow there. I appreciate it. And here you are delivering movies for me. <laughs> Great song. You deserve better. I mean, I, I do. It's okay. No one can be perked up all the time. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, 
The Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. Oof. Well, let me tell you about this thing called Netflix. I'm sure it'll be fine. Chin up. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got. Ta da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and coupons. a plus one to a free movie of my coupons. choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Whoa. Wow, pretty cool perk. It is, isn't it? So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? Uh, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. It's a little... Okay. A movie carrier. Alright, we'll hand in this what? Oh god. It's happening again. What is happening? What is this? Oh god, we're inside the car. Oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. This is all you do in the game? Yeah, pretty much. Wait, it seems like it's about to freak out. Um, yeah, it's really you're you're taking a break, uh, from your job and going on a two-week vacation in your hometown, and she becomes a uh, a delivery a mail uh, person. For two weeks and that's pretty much it but you get like dialogue choices and things like that i don't know how much they affect the story but they are there hello hey meredith how was your day at the office uh, i mean mail truck oh hey dad ah uh, i was being Actually, interrogated did start at the office i was <laughs> being interrogated interrogated what by whom Walter Morgan, a higher up from the post service. Started asking questions about the code of conduct. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Oh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? I uh, nothing, nothing basically. basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Listen, mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Was dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, mom. Yep, he tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met that new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. Uh... He's uh, a unique character. Unique? <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? Uh, nice. It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just interested? Uh, yeah, I sure. I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh, honey, that's so nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's oh, right. Oh, that kind of interesting. And now I'm changing the subject. <laughs> uh, how's How are you it guys going? doing over there? No, oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. Son, it's very easy to get used to. No, oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Alabama slammers. Cheers. Okay. Uh, 
Ah, we're going to that. This uh, is fun. Thing now. It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, Ooh. which one will it be? Uh. You pick. You're, you're the, the expert. expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose the choice of innocent eyes. All right. Let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. All right, I'm ready to pick. Going off the title. Uh, uh, Great Mouse Detective. The Great detective. Mouse Detective. <laughs> Wouldn't have picked you for a Disney fan. Oh, well, let's get in touch with our inner child. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, but it's a mouse. <laughs> How do they come uh, up with this stuff? I don't know, but I had a blast. Oh, that mouse detective really brought out your inner child. You ever thought about having children, by the way? Wow, you just come right out asking the tough questions, don't you? I don't think it's that tough a question. Oh, dude, but this city would I drive me insane. I pretty early on that it wasn't it's going to be 25 miles an hour today. everywhere, and it's literally dead. So anyway. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> My parents' house is right down this road. She's literally well going know. 10 miles an hour. By process of elimination, I detect that we need to take a right here, dear Dawson. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time, we'll do something in your area of expertise. Computer software? What, computer software? Yeah, we can build a killer robot or something. The car's still driving, but we stopped. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. So, here we are. Now what? Uh... Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. Oh. Oh. Okay. Elementary, my dear Angie. Oh. Okay. I kind of felt that vibe, but uh, yeah. I see it. <laughs> Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Oh, God. Frank. Uh, all right, hold on for just a second here, chat. I'm going to go eat uh, breakfast real quick, and then... We Hola, people. Yo, what's going on, Cup FPS? What's up, Dev? How you doing? Sorry about that. I was uh, I was away for a little bit there, but uh. Who is the Rock? Who is the Rock? Oh, you should know who the Rock is. You interrupt the Rock. The Rock yeah. will be the guy getting that ring, tighten his shoes, and whoop your ass. Whoop your. Hey, Cup. Thank you for the uh follow there as well. I appreciate it. What's up, bad? Welcome back. I'm back. Yes. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Go. Go lay down. In or out. You coming in? Hold on. Ooh, I should do an exclamation point pet.
Yeah, sorry, ads ran right before I got back. But now I'm back. Oh, so uh, I should uh, here since since you guys are here, I'm gonna show you a uh, a design, a thing that I'm probably gonna put on to uh, onto my site sometime soon. If I can find it real quick. Not there. Well, since I have it here, this is Kiara. That's the borking that you just heard. Here's another one. Uh, here's another one. Love dogs, thank you. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, not thank you, but yeah, same here. <laughs> no problem, yeah. Yeah, I've uh, been in Team Calidris uh, for about a week now or so. And I've been doing my best to try to check out who's in there and everything. So it's, it's been cool so far. Uh, where is it? Thought I had it in here. I won't have like a specific Kiara cam, but potentially, uh, I might have like a potentially a couch behind me in the room, and if the the window can open, then there might possibil possibly be a possibility of. Or laying on the couch at the window at certain times. So then she would be right behind me. But we'll see on that part. Um, depends on like layout for the, the room and everything once we get there. Uh, I was trying to find a picture of Kiara, but I guess I'll have to do that later because I can't find it. But anyways, um, I'm going to try and finish this game here soon and then i uh, start up some swat four which is a huge change of pace sure, but right. what's up <laughs> i've been Welcome wanting to play Morgan that guy. for a while now what did he want from you couch play at a whole nother level exactly he was asking all sorts of questions also about Oops. you frank god damn it can you believe that jerk links is me now thank you for the follow there appreciate it Thank you, thank you. And welcome, new people. I'm sorry, Frank. I, we got a uh, good amount lie. of new, uh, well, I don't blame you, new names. They've got nothing on me here today already. So I gotta appreciate get back it. to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. So they moved Venom back, and then now they just moved it forward again. So now. It's uh, coming out October 1st, apparently. I mean, I'm cool with that. Good morning, uh, PO. So what PO. is late? All right, so here's a Will quick rundown. A P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every what the heck? <laughs> it scans. Thank you for the uh, follow Did there as well. Did someone just call me well-mannered? <laughs> I'll take it. Let's see if the weather will I'm waiting for the today. radio to stop so I can actually explain. 209. So, really all it is is you're a... Obviously, you play as this lady, uh, Meredith, where she works for some computer company, and it's Labor Day weekend, but she's taking off for two weeks. Um, all right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. To revisit her hometown, which is this Providence Oaks. Uh, which is why it's called Lake, because there's a giant lake in the center. But you're revisiting her hometown to do delivery stuff for the week, keep yourself busy, but then also, like, kind of chill. So, that's pretty much it. Then it's really just you walking around, delivering packages, 
uh, handing in items, doing small, tiny side quests. Um, yeah. How's it going, Scans? It's going pretty good for me. Uh, happy Labor Day. Or, and just so happens that this game released two days before, or was, I think it was technically four days before Labor Day. Um, but it was kind of funny because the first mission I did today, what the heck? <laughs> the first mission I did today was actually for, uh, September 6th, which is today's date. Yo, what's going on, Zavi Gamer? Thank you for the follow as well. Just got cutting down, down the, cutting the grass. Full sweaty nights. Yeah, it's pretty pretty hot out today by me at least. It's nice though. Nice. 351 Main Street. Bird Gang Love. Nice. Thank you, thank you. I don't know when <laughs> These are all like coming like at the same time oh, right now. Hey you. Hi. So I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Uh Got anything romantic? Oh really? Got anything romantic? Hi hi hi. <laughs> sure do. Or wait, you do mean movies, right? So, what's on your mind, babe? Hey oh. Uh Whoa. What do I say? That's I mean we're going back in like two weeks, so it's not gonna like work out anyways. I'm not sure what to make of what happened the other day. Of us, so to speak. <laughs> I mean, we went out, we had fun, we kissed. What do you need, a road map? <laughs> well, when you put it that way. Just spit <laughs> it out, gal. Tell me what you're thinking. I promise I can take it. All right, let's see. Uh, sure. I think sure, I'm we're... starting to like you. We'll say that. A lot. And Do? I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. <laughs> No can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. <laughs> Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? <laughs> Touche. So anyway, what's on your mind? Uh, let's see. Seems I caught you in a rare moment of quiet contemplation. <sighs> yeah, uh, I just... This is the other the part of the premise here. Be? Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just huh. that this whole Flick Shack adventure, I think Ooh. it was the right idea at the wrong time. Getting crazy. And in the wrong place? And in the wrong place? I think so. Yeah, I think I'm just too different for this town. Plus, business hasn't really been booming. Yeah. And here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Wow. I, I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about your future, I mean? Uh, not yet. Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. I hear ya. I'll swing by later. Oh. 
One second, chat. I'm checking something real quick. My buddy just sent me a little, um, um, trying to put the words together. <laughs> I no dessert tonight, I guess. He sent me a Logitech steering wheel setup. And it's a whole thing, um, basically a whole setup with like a, a movable mount and shifter paddle and uh, Here's your mail. and pedals for a really good price. That's not far at all, but well, it's actually a little bit away, but I would have, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think we got the wrong one. We're at 302, 301, 301 Jackson. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Yeah, it's actually a, a decent setup and they're asking a, a pretty good price. But if I did do it, I would want them to ship it. That's the only thing. I don't want to drive two hours to go pick mm. up this thing. I guess nobody's home. So yeah, I'd probably have to pay for, well, shoot. I don't think they could ship it technically because they would have to break it all down. Unless if they're open to it. Deliver mail. No three or street. But uh, yeah, that would be pretty cool if I did. I, I want to get one like a nice one eventually with at least just like a um, nope. a shifter. No answer. And three pedals and then like a mount for it so that way I can easily move it around. Um, but right now, like it's, I wouldn't really be able to use it right now because it would be a pain setting it up. But once we have our, our place and stuff, that's where like all my storage, I'm going to have like my VR stuff next to each other. And then I'll have the, uh, everything else to like set up and ready to go whenever I want to use it. So weird step up from delivering packages in the apocalypse <laughs> while babysitting. <laughs> I know I was watching, uh, I was watching the lyric the other day and he was like oh this is the uh the prequel to death stranding <laughs> not wrong death death stranding is just a more intense version of this in reality <laughs> That game is getting a, a ton of like new content. Like I, I wish that the stuff that it's getting, uh, they had it when I played that game. That was really fun, a really fun game. I 
Let's fast travel over here. Oh yeah, the music in this game is pretty good. It's nice. Cozy. Expecting a nuke to go off. What is this? Oh God, is that him right there? Yellow. Hey, Meredith, I'm up here. Hey, Robert. Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Should I come up? Should I come up as well? Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Loud and Loud clear. Loud and clear. Over. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Yikes. I'm glad there's people like you for that. It's great up there. True. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figure it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, really? Ah, oh, okay. So, what now? Well, I want you to listen What's to going my on, wild Amber, Michelle? card plan. How you doing? Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Tell me about it. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Ah. Uh. Get out of here. Are we gonna do a tree version of We Are the World? Yes, I can do Bruce. We are the world. We are the children. Sounds great. That sounds great. I'll be... I have no idea. Sure. Diana, Diana Ross. Diana Ross. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. Oh, <laughs> yes. But no. Sorry. It'll Oof. be a radio message to get the people of Providence Oaks involved. Oh, probably better oh, that way. Okay. Well, yeah. Probably better that way. Yeah, leave the singing to the pros. It'll be this afternoon, by the way, at Jack Reynolds' barn. Are you in? I could use an extra set of ears. A professional sound studio, huh? I'm in. Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I'm gonna get back up in this tree now. See you later. Literally. Bye. Good luck up there. Thanks. We are the ones to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. Pretty much. Alright, let's uh autopilot over to the cabin. Goodbye. <laughs> he just might be he just might be Yeah, but this thing looks pretty nice. Good 
think now we have to drive ourselves. Uh, the only question is, okay, we follow all the, follow all the, all the, all the way to the back. What happen if you wreck the van? Do you get... Do you get fined? Wait, where's the package? True, good question. That's also a very sketchy looking area. Raven Way. What is this, a chainsaw? Is this a chainsaw massacre? Some weird place like this dropping off a chainsaw? <laughs> knock on door all right i'll leave it on the doorstep we're gonna find out about a murder three days from now is that it wait that's all the packages oh wait no there's one more where oh right there mo's diner fast travel right here autopilot over there Dead by daylight, literally. I've been thinking about um potentially returning to or checking out what updates uh enlisted has gotten recently. Possibly like this week or so. Okay. I haven't played that in a while. I know they, they've added some new maps. I probably could start leveling up the Soviet class. Oh, enlisted and uh, it's funny, Enlisted and Marvel Future Revolution are my two uh, best doing uh, YouTube Let's Play series. What, what do I do with this? Can't get inside. Hi, Kay. Package for you. I'll just drop this on the counter, shall I? Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Um, what is it? Oh, my God. I'm so excited about this. I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... Uh, is it a new rocket? A new rocket? No, but that would totally make Grace's day, though. I should be able to craft something like that out of the cardboard packaging. Good idea. Okay. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Trying to fit the door through the door like that. The suspense is killing me. Open it! Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! Oh. Oh! I'm super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. I know you're doing that speeding up thing again. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. Hmm. <laughs> Stop, you're doing it again. Oh, man, you're right. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Ah, 
pie. I mean, I'd love some blueberry Why pie not? if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. We're clean out. Anything else? Nah, I'm good. I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. All right, back to the post office. We're an autopilot over there and just cruise. I had to drive all the way up into the, the building. Environment is reminding me of snow tires or snow runner. Okay, I can folks, see that. It's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. We'll do great. You'll do great. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? Uh, guess this is okay. Yeah, I guess this is okay. Are you sure? Jack, can you play it back for us? All right, here it comes. Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. totally convinced yet how about and... wait uh lake lovers listen up okay let's try that jack sure robert here we go in one two three action <clears throat> lake lovers listen up i'm robert harris and i oppose the plans for new apartments on lakeview drive if you feel the same let town hall know about it and give them a call let's keep providence oaks pretty Better? Beautiful. Yeah, Better, actually. yes, but it also needs more passion. Say it like you mean it. Yeah, Robert, if you could hurry up a bit. <laughs> Potatoes don't come out of the ground voluntarily. One, two, three, action! <clears throat> Lake lovers, listen up. I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Like that? A Beautiful. star is born. Now, let's do some real work. All right, this should work. All right, it's time to really roll up our sleeves. You ready, Robert? Sure thing, Jack. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you lovebirds want to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the? Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outdoors. Let's go. Rock on. Let's do this. Okay, folks. Hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show.
Meredith, it's me. <laughs> oh, hi, Steve. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you did it. <laughs> Fresh professional studio. I'll look at them tonight. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, short call. Got a rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. Review Steve's contact contracts. Sure. I guess we'll do that because it is a lot of money. All right. Here we go again. Here we go again. Let's go. Yahoo. Wednesday, September 10th. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Oh. Mr. Good Morgan, Mr. Morning. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Morgan. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Coleman has been suspended. Me. Whoa. What? Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. All right. Have a nice day. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. Jim Gordon. <laughs> Providence Oaks, good morning to you. P.O. Positive for that P. Today's contribution is from Matt Kearney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake, what a spectacle. I'm glad my barn's still standing, but thanks for calling in, Matt. All right. I think we're almost there. She leaves, I think, Sunday. So we're and we're on Wednesday right now. So Here, general store. Um, I'm assuming not. Two hundred seven Main Street. You haven't seen uh, this lady in a while. Is that Karen or Nancy? Same thing. Ah, there's the mail. <laughs> How's the photography coming along? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, completely forgot about it. Sure. My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment pack. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Sounds good. I literally took one picture and it was of a guy in the store. <laughs> so I wonder how that's going to work. I would like to see a speed run mail. done for this game. back it up yo what's going on tater gaming how you doing and oh uh oh she's not here today what's going on with that what's this the flick shack has closed down <gasps> and will not what? reopen. It closed Any down. Any unreturned tapes can be dropped off before September 22nd. Oh. It has been a privilege to serve as Providence Oaks' premier home Yo, cinema Tater provider. Gaming, thank you for the, uh, you for your patronage. 50 the bits best. there. Your flick shack proprietor, thank you. Angie. Hmm. 
What happened? They closed. They closed. Appreciate all the support. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the support. I appreciate that. Weiss residence. We have one for ourselves. All right, let's auto, uh, auto drive over there. for the host as well. I appreciate that. You have a good day as well. Here we are. Oh, wait. What? It's on the corner. Nobody saw that. It's all right. Right over here. Would you look at that? We've had eight events happen today and it has bumped up the number or I mean the color to blue. Wow. I forget all the other options that happen too. All right, uh, this one's a package. I think there's blue, green, uh, maybe green. Actually, if I do have green, it might not work <laughs> because there might be a chrome, uh, chroma key that makes it disappear or transparent. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. There it is. <laughs> Blue imposter. You'll never find him. You'll never be able to. Oh shoot, wrong one. You'll never be able to find him now. <laughs> Blue Classes Clay is now here. <laughs> never again. I love how the cars speed up. 
I really like that song that was playing in the uh, the car there. There's that one, and then the other one about September. I didn't bring the package. Didn't bring the package again. The little things. 500 Lake Road. Let's go, let's go. Hi, Maureen. P.O. people, I need to pause the music for a special message. Uh, hush, darling. I want to hear this. And so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty. Uh, don't lie to yourself. He's talking about the trees. Take it away, Robert. Lake lovers, listen up. I'm Robert Harris. I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Isn't that something? It could have been more juicy, I guess. But it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. Oh, I don't know. Well, actually, Robert set it up himself, at Jack's. Did he now? And how would you know about that, huh? <laughs> because I was at the studio when he was recording it. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around in Providence Oaks now, was he? You, you think so? Well, that's what I heard. Anyway, oh. I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. <laughs> what are you doing oh, okay. Sunday evening, hon? Uh, nothing yet, I think. Nothing yet, I think. Well, I've got just the solution for you. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time open mic night this upcoming Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, discover the town's hidden talent, or not. If you know what I mean, it'll be a hoot. More like a hoot and a half. Count me in. Good. <laughs> I already had you down on my list, of course, but it's nice of you to RSVP. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? I think that's her last Let day, too. Let me see too. you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. I'll do my Let's best. Let's just say I'll do my best. There you go. You're catching up. Now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back. But I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. Open mic? That's what all the uh, console players have whenever they join a multiplayer game. No, uh, non-stop op open mic. Lake Road, the final package. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. I'm not saying you too, Dev. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Reynolds Farm. First time meeting this guy. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's the guy on the radio. Mail carrier Meredith. Oh, I mean, oh, Jack Reynolds. I didn't even think of that. Hello, Jack. Good to see at least someone's working today. <laughs> opposed to you as opposed to you yep can't harvest taters with all this rain <laughs> luckily rags keeping me busy not surprised I'm not surprised <laughs> seems like you're getting to know him he's mad as a wet hen it's quite entertaining actually thanks for dropping by mail carrier meredith i gotta get back to it luck with the weather okay jack good luck with the weather hope it'll clear up thank you much there's a farmer and a, and the uh, radio host. Interesting. Fast travel over here. Over here.
Oh god, Meredith. Almost causing an accident. End work day. Wednesday evening. Then we have, we have like stuff going on every day, I think. The farm Hello? studio. Hi, Meredith, it's me. Oh, hi. Hello. Haha. <laughs> Thank you for calling Alcoholics Anonymous. How may I help you? Oh, please, Meredith, it's not that bad. You're just jealous. <laughs> Actually, I am. I hope you mean about the weather. Well, it did rain a lot here today. Oh, just wait until the wet season really starts. It never ends. Why haven't you told her yet? Let me talk to her. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage this weekend near the beach. It's so pretty. Not too big, but who wants to be inside anyway? I like uh, to be inside. Me? I like to be inside. I know, honey, <laughs> but hear me out. We talked to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here like it we can buy it and settle down here for good wow big step wow that's quite a big step life-changing and all that isn't it something and uh, it means that our house will be vacant for a while we won't put it on the market until we've tried out florida for a few months so um if you want to extend your stay in providence oh No thanks, I need to get back to my- well, technically, couldn't she just work from home? <laughs> no thanks, I need to get back to my normal life soon. Well, just thought I'd mention it, but it's a pretty big deal. I'll be back so for SWAT, alright. Right. Hmm? We'll, uh, Can we'll get started in a little bit. Yeah, uh, here comes your dad again. Hi, dear. Sounds I'm good. Yeah, lovely. I'll talk to you in a bit then. Hey, Meredith, just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay, bye, Dad. I mean, she has her computer. She could just work, but she is a, a, I guess, a people person. Memories, memories, memories of you and me. <laughs> Wow. So good. Oh, Mickey. <laughs> that was so deep. <laughs> right, Meredith? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It's in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes. But nights like these, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. How did you two meet? At a dorm party. He was the cool guy who dropped out of college, and I was about to do the same. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. Cautious? Of what? The man, of course. Always the fucking man. Whoa! The first time that he cursed. So, you guys are sticking it to the man, eh? Hell yeah! Can't stand the man. Anything with authority, in whatever shape or form it appears. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey, guys. Let's not spoil this evening with heavy stuff, okay? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. <laughs> <coughs> Meredith! No thanks. I'll pass. June? Maybe later, Mickey. Meredith, how about some booze instead? 
Sure. What do you have? Beer, wine, and whiskey. Beer. Gotcha. Be right back. <laughs> Memories. Memories. We're memories. creating memories. Guy really of likes memories. You and, and me. All right, here you go. Ah. So, are the you real guys question. on the run? What can I say? We've got a few unpaid parking tickets. Mickey had an argument with some cop, and then there's a bit of college and tax debt. Nothing major. So we're not really on the run. It's more like... Speed walking. I'm sure you'll have more peace in Canada. I hope you guys will be happy there. It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blanket, swim across the border, and then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. Mickey, can Meredith have the RV? What piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. I mean, this is it even yours to I don't give know. away? Is it even yours to give away? Technically, no. But the owner's a good guy. We'll square it with him. Don't worry. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, okay. memories, memories. I wonder what would happen if you just said Memories. no to everybody. Memories. It was like, I don't want to do any of this. I just want to chill. <laughs> Thursday, September 11th. All right, on to the next day. Top of the Thursday morning, P.O. We don't have any callers today, so I'll bring up one of my own pet peeves. Positive the idiotic plans for pedestrianization of Main Street. It's... <sighs> well, don't get me started or I won't even have time for the weather. Speaking of... Deliver mail. An autopilot right here. <laughs> hey, that guy's parked on the wrong side of the road, and I totally just ran at red light. What is going on to the shop? Really just closing down? What happened? I can't see this game having like a huge twist to it, like in the last few days. But I think that would make it uh, really, really cool if it did. I kind of feel like the game's gonna just like at least in, a, in its current like path it's taking i feel like it's just gonna like end like you're just gonna make a no uh, a choice on whether you stay or not and then mm. right after that these look like bills then it's just gonna end and be like fade out with some music playing which isn't bad i mean it's definitely a chill Chill game. That's a big letter. Let's travel over here. And we'll go this way. It always seems like it's going to be so much more than it actually is. now we just have two packages three packages left and a mailbox drop off 
Uh, 200 Jackson. Wait, oh, I could have sworn I pressed E on it. Pick up. Ooh, that's heavier than I thought. Is it like a heavy box of chocolates? Nope, no answer. Okay. You just have the, uh, one mailbox nearby. We're not stopping. We're running straight through it. Deliver mail. We'll autopilot to the service station. And right before we get there, look at that background. That looks pretty cool. Like just seeing the mountain in the background. Like that. Even that right there. Um, so we're going fast traveling, auto driving to the station and, uh, yeah, there we go. There's the road right there too. <laughs> That's interesting. That actually tweeted out. I, it's funny. I deleted that too. I was curious if it was going to do that. Wait, stop. Go back. I'm gonna have to delete that one. Is that deleted the video? Oh, huh, so okay. That's cool though. I started looking into YouTube Shorts since it's oh, like dear. their version You're of like a TikTok. With sore eyes. Oh hi, and Ms. Instagram J stories. Mildred? How so? so? I'm gonna try starting like uh, to upload clips and basically anything I upload on TikTok on there too. Expecting more mail from your son. Are you expecting more mail from your son? It's just this week. It's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening, but I can't leave my cats alone. And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just a postcard. Are you gambling? Mildred, are you gambling? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? I mean, he could. I wish I could tell you where he is. Oh, Frankie boy. Always making me worry too much. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? Perhaps I could look after your cats. Would you, my dear? It's tomorrow evening. That would be such a relief for me. And the cats. Tomorrow night? Sure, no trouble at all. Oh, thank you so much, dear. Just show up at seven and eat as many cookies as you like. Okay. Why she doesn't put anything in the cookies. All right, we got two packages left. I really don't know. Is there a way you can see like your calendar? I forget if there is or not. I, I know there was a time where I did see it. Oh wow, they dropped off the... Um... Wait, does she own the, the... The RV then? 300 Lake Road the box that we need right there oh that's heavier than i thought 
bunch of car parts. Meredith, look at this house on wheels. I have no idea where it came from, but it's absolutely rad. Oh. It was left here by Mickey and June, that young couple by the lake campground. Oh, really? And now what? They told me I could have it if I want. And I think I I uh, don't. I think I can give it to you instead, however. But I don't. I can give it to you instead. If you want it, you know, keep it here and tinker on it. Oh, yes, that'd be amazing. You know, I love tinkering, but it's going to need a lot of work. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while, I should give it a name first. Can't have such a beautiful so vehicle and not give it a name. How about the sea turtle? Big, slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or the raccoon, because it's got brown spots and is full of trash. Or the hermit shell. It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like... Uh, the raccoon. The sea turtle. Sea turtle. The sea turtle. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you Pro later. She's probably going to design it like blue like that. If you're going to have it named like that, you got to do a color or something. Oh, God, we're going back to this house. What are they? What did they order this time? This road again. What if uh, Frank is living all the way back here? One thirty nine Ravens Way. That tiny package. Ah, yes, yes, yes. He could only look on in sheer terror as Madeline threw the key straight into the lake. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is good stuff. Ah, a writer. How interesting. Oh, for Christ's sakes, go away. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Oh. You haven't told me anything. I'm, I'm new here. Oh, bloody heck. Do I sound like I care? You lot are all the same to me. Just go away. How many yokels are there in this backwater town? Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be remote and quiet? <laughs> you know the postal service motto? It's not that. 
It's just that not everyone up here in these parts feels comfortable with us leaving packages on their doorsteps. <sighs> I... I do beg your pardon. I... yes, I am expecting a package. I didn't know you were from the Postal Service, ma'am. <laughs> Should it even matter who I am? Shouting at random strangers is generally considered rude. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It's just... I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher, as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up here. And Lord knows I'll be needing those ribbons. Just please leave them on the porch and... Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Now, where was I? She threw the key in the lake. Then what happens? Oh, Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. No, wait, I got it. And then he says... Return to the post office. Hey, that was interesting. Fast travel. Love that fast travel. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are good afternoon miss weiss good afternoon mr morgan i wanted to let you know that today was my last day here Oh. I see. Well, thanks for the help. Where are you going now? That's all I have to say. Good luck. Jeez. Okay. He's actually actually the murderer. Hello? Hi Em, it's me, Kay. Oh, hi Kay. Good, you're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight, and I wouldn't normally bother you like this, but I'm kind of in a huge pickle at the moment, and now I'm imagining being inside of a huge pickle. Thanks, Brange. <laughs> sure, what's up? Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's journey so i'm like i need to go tonight and i got these tickets ages ago and it's a long drive to portland so we'll probably be out all night and i promise you i've called everyone and their brother besides they're really good kids to watch tonight whoa 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 whoa, whoa. can i get a shortcut to the question <laughs> yeah sorry you're totally right i'm blabbering on r and i okay don't freak out you got this all right recap Journey tonight, in Portland, got tickets, sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight? Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh my god, you serious? That would help me out in such a big way! And I would owe you big time. Huge! You would, wouldn't you? Hmm, interesting. Oh dear, never mind. Don't care. Can you be here around 6 p.m., so in like 30 minutes? You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're covered. See you in a bit. All right, see ya. All right, who wants s'mores? Hey, 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 guess who's back? Frank? I'm so glad to see you again. I'm so happy to be here again. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. Good riddance. Hell yeah, that clueless piece of work. Tell me more. How'd you get rid of him? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. 
I guess they didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Ooh, this sounds very juicy. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high-stakes game. I've got lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. Oh. Sweet. That should keep them off our backs for a while. Haha, <laughs> yes. But that buffoon will be back. You can bet on it. Let's dial down the betting for a while, Frank. Haha, <laughs> Meredith. I better get back to work. That's funny. It was literally like illegal betting. <laughs> okay. Meredith. What the hell? What? Hi. Hey, Robert. How are you? I was away for a few days on an urgent job out of state. Uh. Nice. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks. And likewise. Hmm. Priority mail from town hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada, concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada, uh, wait, what? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. It worked. The plan worked. Nice. Wow, great! So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's. Or something else. On me. Ah, oh, I'd love that. Great. It's gonna be fun. See you tomorrow night, then. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. <laughs> Uh, I really don't know how I just got over here, too. I think, yeah, that 100% bugged. So I was just trying to get into the car. I wonder what it'll be today. Actually, no. Nancy, the floor is yours. Yeah, Jack, I've got a pet peeve. Why do people start fake coughing when I'm smoking in my store? If you don't like it, just leave. Thank you much, Nancy. And, well, if you're asking, it's not like people have other places to go besides the smokehouse that you call a general store. Nice. Two Pine Street. Here we go. Driving along the highway. Hello? Friday delivery day. Well, just call me Friday delivery K. Okay, no, that sounded <laughs> better in my head. Someone's in a good mood today. Yes, thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. No problem, they were great. No oh, problem, I didn't they were great. <laughs> I appreciate the lie. Uh-oh. <laughs> so... How was the concert? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, Journey is so good. Those songs have been stuck in my head all day. Whoa. Sounds yeah, great. That sounds great. I know, right? There's just so much cool stuff being created right now, you know? I mean, Journey was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you, if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. One Wait, spleen, two bands. 
That's quite the potential dilemma. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cindy Lauper, or Run DMC, or Stevie Wonder. And before you go there, I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and ham and organs right now. Oh, I would never. All jokes aside, though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. So much going on. And I mean, I love tinkering, but right now, I'm not sure I'm even creating anything cool or just... You know? Not even Barry is allowed to listen to my songs at this stage, to be honest. I'd love to hear your music sometime. I'm sure it's great. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Maybe I'll hold you to that. I was thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something I've been trying out with my new synthesizer. I'd be honored. That's great. It's just something I've been playing around with. Don't expect any fireworks. And hey, don't tell me what you think yet, yeah? You'll be my secret special audience of one. So I can get used to the idea of an audience. All right. Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Okay, don't tell anyone, but I'm thinking of performing a song on my new synth this Sunday. Holy crap, I just said that out loud. Dude! You are coming to the open mic, right? Of course. Of course, that's great! Wild horses couldn't drag me away. But act cool, yeah? No one else knows yet. See you there. Sure thing. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Cool. Forget if uh, the day was Thursday or Friday. Might be Thursday. I don't know if she works on Saturdays or if it's just going to jump to Sunday. The open mic night. I think she leaves on Monday. So it'll come up quick Let's go back over here then we'll have one package to drop off beautiful Then we will go Uh yeah, I think that's probably easier. Go right here. Auto travel over there. But you know what? I'll I'll just drive. If only we could take that thing. <laughs> we'll start whipping that around. Instead of the mail truck. World's fastest mail delivery. Oh God. This off. Interesting. All right. Fast travel over here. Then autopilot there. Some are so Some are high and some are low. Of September. Of September. When I see if they uh this playlist is on Spotify. Ooh, 
lake that oh it is that off and where are we going next back up this way go right here after we hand in uh this one i am going to grab a drink real quick can't believe it's already four o'clock crazy crazy Last package of today. Right after I, I drop it off, I'm gonna just pause. Cause usually they throw it throw you into a cutscene. Come on. Beautiful. That's lighter than I thought. I wonder what happens if you try taking, or if you accidentally take the wrong one. He's walking up this way. I just dropping this off. Hello. Worms have arrived. Excuse me? I meant the package, Miss Weiss. It's my worms. Oh. For fishing. They're just in time. I'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon. Nice. Great. Have fun. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to, but I'm not helping you with any wax worms. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. Return to the post office. All right. Uh, here's what I'll do. Fast travel right here. And before we officially end the day, and it starts like a cutscene for whatever it is, I'm gonna pause right here all right well uh, one second chat i will be right back and then we will continue i'm just gonna make a drink real quick okay i am back let's do this So, is this a quiet day, or does it always take this long? Fishing requires patience. We've only been here for two hours. I'm afraid patience is not my strong suit. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. I find it hard to relax sometimes. Fishing also requires silence. <laughs> okay. Don't have game. Seems like. Bert, can I ask you a question? <sighs> Why do you hate the world? Do you like Maureen? <sighs> 
we ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. Okay. Sure. Friday afternoon. Okay. Ooh. Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Shine today. Hmm. Let me think. The ma ma monster deal? Oh yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say to you about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company, and I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers, and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you, and I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So, here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it, and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. Oh, wow, Steve. That sounds great. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million-dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. Okay. Good evening, feline friends. Aunt Meredith's gonna keep you company tonight. Come here. Kitty, kitty. Ow. A postcard from Angie. Miss Meredith, I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not-so-timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if little old me figures into those plans, somehow. So, anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. What? Maybe. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's time once again for a Theo positive <laughs> One second, Chad. I'm just checking. Some Today's stuff. verdict is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. I went for a walk the other day and suddenly encountered a majestic stag. We looked at each other for a few seconds and, and then he walked off into the woods. Wow, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm glad you could retell the tale. Stags can be dangerous. Today's weather might be dangerous, too. You'll need your raincoat all day long, and there will be a thunderstorm tonight. Back to the music. Nice. Okay. I am good to go. 
Let's see what we got here. First, we'll do this package. Main Street, I think it's like 207. Yep. It's a lot of, we only have three packages today. And, uh, the rest is all. I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Mail. <laughs> Photographs. Wow, beautiful. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. <laughs> if you'd have picked them up earlier this week, you could have participated in a photography contest. Oh. Really? Oh, I would have loved that. Eh, you can probably only win contests like those if you're professional. True. Yeah, good equipment is expensive. Yeah, you probably need an extra mail route to be able to afford it. Okay. Yeah, you don't even know about at it. <laughs> In before we're a millionaire. All right, let's see what we got right here. it up and turn around Okay, we've got a few more over here. got another one sure i'll fast travel over here. one street over again and then we'll just drive around drop off this one this song again I think we're almost done here. We've got to be really close because right now we're on the, uh, I think it's Saturday evening or Saturday day. I'm going to let this one autopilot. Usually it launches right here. The water looks different. Oh, 
All right, 30 or 10 301 <laughs> 103 Vintage Street. Grab this one. Another small box. Nope. No answer. All right. Hop back in the van. Next two are like a block away from each other. Nice. right here hmm these look like bills okay Let's fast travel down here then go from here down to the cabins I guess Got one one package and two letters left to deliver. We are flying down this back alley. One sixty six. I can't believe we we dropped a chainsaw off at that, that random house. I want to look up if there's any like Easter eggs for this game. Oh boy, here comes this kid again. It's the mail. I'm busy. Okay, good luck. No, damn it. I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. Ooh, take it easy. It's just a game. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. Maybe you should try a different hobby. You know what? I can beat this damn game. And I'm not quitting until I have. Good luck with that. Okay. Nice. You can go here, and then from here, we can autopilot there. Goodbye. I see lightning strike the farmhouse. It is pouring down here. And it got really dark. Her eyes are so bright. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent-in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know. Hey, folks. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Moe's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some well performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening and maybe even some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks. And I'll be there, too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Nope, haven't seen them. Yeah, okay. just me. I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. Okay. Return to the post office. So ends a week full of turmoil. You can say that again. If only the Angels hadn't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. How much would you have won? $876.34. It'd have been a nice payday, huh? They're playing each other again tonight. Probably like three or Should four grand today. <laughs> I don't care one bit about sports or gambling. Sorry, Frank, Same. but I really don't care about sports or gambling. <laughs> Meredith, no problem. I'll stop talking about it. Or I'll try at least. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait. This was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you, but they still haven't found someone else for the job. So I guess you can have it if you want. Thanks, Frank, but... Are you sure? It's a great job. You know what? Think about it, and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. I gotta run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. We could stay here on a little simple life or go back. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well... It was okay. A nice change of scenery. Great, but not something you do for the rest of your life. Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. No, oh, hold on, Meredith. Let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oak? Hi, Mom. I'm not sure, to be honest. What are you not sure about, dear? Are other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? No, no, that's not it. It's just easy going here. The surroundings, the job, the people? Maybe you just need a break. Or maybe this really is what you want. But whatever you decide, think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. 
And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll be fine. Don't lose sleep over me. Okay, Em. Take care. I gotta go. We're running out of coins again. Bye! Running out of coins? What? Are they at the casino? I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. True. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. Uh, juicy T-bone steak. It's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a... Water. Water. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. <laughs> Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the steaks out. Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Yep, yep. Yeah. Are you going? I wish I could go. Especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Announce the weather for next week? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. <laughs> really? You're right. And you're his stage manager. <laughs> no. He's into comedy. Would have loved to have heckled him. Oh well. This is a good week anyhow. Must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty. Here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer. As a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Uh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith. I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Mmm, <laughs> that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Ooh, boy, what the heck? She just would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you going to miss your daily delivery round? Not really. I'm looking forward to going back to the big city. Ah, the big city. That's not for me. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first one. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. I can imagine that. But... Maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Wouldn't be a bother at all. Robert and Meredith, sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. Thanks, Robert. Don't mention it. You've helped me out so much. This is nothing compared to that. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. <laughs> Meredith, thanks again for your help. I'm not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation. You're welcome, Robert. I was happy to help you out. A little help goes a long way. Hope to see you around again. You too, Robert. Take care. But you're not leaving without a hug. Oh boy. There you go. <laughs> Sep Sunday, September 14th morning. Never have predicted delivering mail for two weeks would be like this. Met so many new people, some of them are really nice. Some of them a little less so, but all interesting in their own way. 
My temporarily mail job officially ends tomorrow. Regardless of the actual experience, the change of scenery always has its upsides. That probably also holds true for tonight's open mic at Moe's Diner. Nice. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tap. So, wanna give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those stakes are too high. <laughs> this one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, Please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, one car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens! Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. It's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Oh, I love it. Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money. Seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by. Unannounced. And he's staying the whole weekend. Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? huh? From playing all those games. Oh, hi, Matt. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss to the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. Oh, poor you. I hope you'll be okay again soon. I hope so. I can't even use my computer right now. Guess who? Basil from Baker Street. Ah, <laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappointment. <laughs> it's just me. Oh, I met her. Even better. Though I never would have guessed. Yeah, I love how that guy so, messed up. up what have I missed? How much? Eh, not much. Jack just did some comedy. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well, then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Thanks for the note. It was very sweet. I meant every word, babe. So, have you... Hey, Angie. Hey, Meredith. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The sea turtle is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure it's like she's brand new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. An RV, huh? Oh, it's kind of a long story. You know Mickey and June? Oh, yeah. The hiker couple, right? Well, long story short, I've somehow gained possession of their vehicle of choice. 
which, as Miss Young just described, is a perfectly adequate RV that I'm going to use to motor right out of this sad little town. Really? Good for you. Absolutely. Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad old town behind and go wherever we want to go. Free spirits, the way Mickey and June intended. Well, you are a good kisser. <laughs> mm, there's plenty more where that came from. Whoa. But at some point, you've okay. got to give me a definite answer. <laughs> you get that, right? Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. It's a doozy. <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. Come with I got me. stuff to do anyway. She's the one that had, that ordered the uh, the chainsaw all the way out in the open or in that uh, barn area. Okay, I'll let you know. Dear people, I mean, in the, none other than know. our own Kate Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd rather be home right now. <laughs> I Me don't when I go out places. <laughs> Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Hey, well, Bert, I mean. thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies. If you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place. Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so great to be performing again. It felt amazing. I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. 
Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Thanks, Sam. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, Em. Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course! And remember... Time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Thanks. For everything. My lovely people, the time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next. But I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us. And there's plenty of food and drink to go around. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? That is funny. Rachel, look at this. I send it to you. I loved it. Jack was great. Good, good. Honestly, when Jack started telling those jokes, oh, I didn't know whether to suck him one or laugh out loud, you know? Oh, that man is something, all right. And what about Kay, huh? Get her name. Honey. She was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Hmm. Seems like a bold choice to announce what? it to the town like that, though. Ha! Huh, you know me, hon. At least all the options are out in the open now, right? So what's next for you, now that you're handing over the reins? Well, to be honest, I'll probably stick around the diner for now, help out, and maybe I'll try my hand at something different on the side, you know? Maybe fix up some of those cabins in the woods, rent them out. Never too old to find something new to do. That sounds like a great idea. Doesn't it just? How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected, and I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women, and if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around? Move back? I think I have a feeling. Yeah. Then you go follow that feeling, hun. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Actually, I was lying. <laughs> I best get back I love inside. I an option. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride and then they lost. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. Hmm.
you're a gambling addict beyond salvation. Ha <laughs> ha, Meredith. I guess you're right, and I guess I don't mind. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. But no, I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you gonna do? Back to my home, my job, and my life in the big city. So I guess you're going back to the future, eh? Computers, living in the fast lane. Can't say that I envy you. Although it must be nice to live close to a major ballpark. Do you need a ride to the airport? Yes, please. I'd love to take one last look over the lake. All right, go grab your stuff and let's go. He's going back. And the V-Belt is not in great shape, but it should last you another month or three. The sea turtle and all of her glory. Do you like her? Meredith and I named her. She's pretty amazing, Lori. Cute name, too. Thanks for doing this for me. <laughs> You're very welcome. I thought you really wanted to have the RV, Lori. I wanted to work on her really badly. But now that she doesn't need any more work, Angie can at least drive her around. Since I don't have a license, and I'm not old enough to get one anyway. I'll keep you up to date on all our adventures, promise. It'll be like you're right there with us. I'm counting on it. Hey, Meredith? What was I'm that? I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Lori. It was really fun watching that movie and working on the RV with you. Me too. Besides, you'll be back sometime, right? Of course. I have to check on my favorite engineer. You mean me? Ha! I'd love that. Safe travels, Meredith. Thank you, Lori. See you around. Magnificent, isn't she? Yeah, she certainly knows a lot about cars for a kid her age. <laughs> I meant the RV. But sure, Lori's great too. So, you all packed? Sure am. The big stuff's in storage, but I've got the bare necessities. Clothes, toiletries, and a whole bunch of videotapes. So, where are we going first? <laughs> yeah, Wee. about that. Hmm? <laughs> I think you should go alone. Oh yeah? Well, I disagree. I don't want to be alone, and I think you should go with me. Whoa. I'm sorry, Angie. It just doesn't feel right. I mean, that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense, actually. Even though it's not quite what I was expecting. Or hoping. We'll keep in touch. We'll meet again. It's just that this is what I need to do right now. I get it. It's okay. So, do I at least get a goodbye hug? No, I don't want to make this any harder. <laughs> of course. Come here. <laughs> sure am gonna miss you, babe. Happy travels. Did you catch a case of cold feet? Ah, it disappears. I guess that's what you could call it. Please take me to the airport, Frank. So, here we are again, heading the other way. Aren't you gonna miss it here? Probably. It feels odd to be leaving again. I wouldn't want to leave this place, not for a million bucks. Well, what wait, if the bridge no, just collapsed right there. Do you believe money can buy <laughs> happiness? That's a good question. Give me a big pile of cash right now, and I'll feel real happy. And I'm sure it'll last a couple of days, but then it'll probably start to wear off, and I'll be back to complaining about the weather before you know it. But it's probably nicer to complain about the weather when you're living in a big old mansion. Hey, what's this honking clown up to? Move out of the way, you lunatic! Wait a minute. That's Robert Harris. <laughs> no way. Yeah, He's gonna yeah, be like... pulling over. He's gonna be like, don't leave. Stay. Sorry about that, Frank. Hope it didn't scare you. That's okay, Robert. I'm a road rage veteran. But, uh, <laughs> what's all this about? 
It's not about you, Frank. I need to talk to Meredith. Oh, uh, okay. I'll go have a smoke. Hey, Meredith. This is gonna sound super awkward. And hopeless. And desperate. And probably a lot more things, but I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. Robert, that's so sweet of you, but I've made up my mind about this. I'm leaving PL. Yeah, okay, yeah. I sort of kind of figured you'd say that. Well, I don't know what to say to you now. I guess there's nothing left to say. I better get back to work again. Take care. Thanks, Robert. And let me know if the apartment troubles start again. Okay, Meredith. Let's get you to the airport. I've got a double shift today, and the mail doesn't deliver itself. Damn. <laughs> Sorry for button in, Life folks, in the fast but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own K. Evans. Hey, after a few more years, you know, she could retire and then stay in the city, you know? Especially with that big deal that's coming down the road. So, yeah. I kind of had a feeling the game was going to just like end like this too, but uh, overall I enjoyed it. I think it was a cool game. Uh, again, thank you. I, I did get it through Keymailer, so I requested a key through, through that from the developers or publisher and they approved it. So thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, it was a cool game. I'm curious what other options there would be in playing this, but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was fun. It was a good time. So, yeah, definitely I recommend it as far as uh, other people checking out and maybe want to deliver some mail and, and chill and all that. So, that is Lake. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and jump into some SWAT. So I've been wanting to play it, play this for a while. Uh, it's a pretty big change of pace, just to let you know. Um, 